Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday morning, and we slept in. Boy, did we slip in. Woo! Hear my water break going on? I need a cup of coffee. Man, uh, we got our room done back there, and our, I guess you call it our great room. We used to call it a den when we were kids. Anyway, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new folks. Welcome to everybody. Hope everybody's having a really great day so far. Um, we are going to get mom and we're going to take a little drive just around the different neighborhoods and stuff. We're not going to go far, but she's going stir crazy. So I told her we'd go. Um, there's a park that has a little rose garden and we may go by and look at the roses. I love roses. And they're in full bloom, full swing right now here in Arizona. I know it's weird because it's the middle of, well, no, it's spring. It's April. It's spring. So um, I thought we'd just go out and about and um, just get out of the house for a while. My back's a little sore. My legs are a little stiff. My arms are sore from lifting all those books and putting them away. So ah, my coffee water is almost done, as you can hear. So... I am going to sit down and have a cup of coffee. I'm going to push Harry to move along here so that he can come have a cup of coffee. I think I'm going to make us some eggs and sausage for breakfast. So I'll share with everybody when we break our fast and get ready to go. So we have nixed the idea of going for a ride. We saw that they are asking us now, you guys, everyone for the next two weeks, we're coming to the peak of this. And if we can snip it in the bud, nip it in the bud, squash it, squelch it, stop it. We can all get our lives back to normal sooner. So Harry and I talked about it. We're not going to go for a ride because then you have to get gas and you have to touch gas things. Then you have to you know, if something happens with the car, if you have to go to the bathroom. So I agree, he's right. And so I called mom and said, hey mom, you know, we're not gonna go, this is why. They're asking everybody not to even go out to the store unless you absolutely have to for the next two weeks. Yada, yada, yada. And I said, come over, come over at noon. We'll pick out some good movies and watch some movies and just have a good time. She's part of our family group. We're not visiting with her. She's been coming over every single day since this whole zombie apocalypse virus has started. So we're not visiting with her. She promised she's not going anywhere or doing anything. So the only place she comes is here as well. So anyway, enough said about that. I am making us some eggs and some sausage. So I just, it's warm enough here that the bacon grease, I just poured some in the pan getting it nice and warm get it nice and hot for my eggs and i've never i don't know have we tried these maybe i have uh, all natural chicken sausage from jones's we like jones's and these ones are i believe these are pre heated fully cooked so these ones are the fully cooked ones usually i get the pork sausage that you have to cook but um these are fully cooked, so we, this, all the ingredients are right here. Chicken, water, sea salt, spices, lemon peel powder, and dried parsley. And the carbs are zero, so they're super clean. You get three sausages, and that's 90 calories. And uh, total fat grams is very low, five. And they give you one sausage versus the serving size. So five grams and 10 grams of protein. So we're gonna put this whole package in. Just throw these pots in. How long did it say to cook them for? Um, stove top, maybe I'll, no. Four? What do you think? Because mm -hmm. it has to warm up. Okay, so anyway, I'm giving Harry three eggs and me three eggs. And when we're all ready, when it's all plated, everybody, I will share with you. Oh, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Uh-oh. 
Look, I didn't see these. These two are broken. Oh no. Oh no, I got broken ones. They broke in the car. How? Oh. When we put them on the seat. Can't be, because I put on where they wouldn't get touched. Oh no. You didn't open it up and look at them, Yes, huh? I did. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. I must have broken them. I have broke Well, it seems pretty weird. That one, that one really is a solid hit. You know? Okay. This is not going well. You stay there until the fat gets bad. I'm just not doing good today. You upset? These are yes, I am. My mom got very upset, you guys. She just doesn't get, she doesn't care because she doesn't care if she dies. Because she wants to be with my dad in heaven. She tells me that every chance she can get. But I tried to explain to her that it's what she does with other people during the pandemic. If she's not worried or afraid, everybody else is. And she needs to think about other people. So, anyway folks, I'll share with everybody when these are all done. Well, so I ended up having to scramble the eggs, and so the eggs that weren't broken had one goo from the ones that were broken, and so we ended up having to wash them, and then I just ended up scrambling them to make sure they were all cooked. All of them. So yeah. it's basically about 10 eggs in No, it isn't. Is it? Yeah, about 10. See, look. That's the squeezable, and this is the other, and this just squeezable smells... Squeezable other. And, yeah, this is the hard so I like the more solid. Yeah, Sorry. I go along with you. So I'm gonna have it's a texture thing for me. Some Alterna Sweets ketchup. Yes. On your eggs? Of course. Scrambled eggs have to have ketchup. That's sweet. I know. Just yeah. a little bit. A little bit. And then That's what I want. Sriracha. Yep. A little bit of sriracha. Just a little bit. Smear it around in your sour yeah. cream. It's really good. And... There you go. There you go. There you have it. There's breakfast. I want to taste. Hold it up. I'm going to give you well, just a minute, Harry Cameraman. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. So I can hold it up and do a taste test. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna try one of these chicken sausages. Mmm, they smell really good. How are those? Those are the chicken ones, you know. Mm -hmm. so. They're pretty good. They got lots of flavor. Peppery. I don't taste any lemon. They're very good. They're equal with like a Jimmy Dean chicken sausage or any of those, so. Now I'm going to have a little bit of my egg. I'm going to taste test my egg. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. When I started scrambling them, they stuck to the pan, so I threw in a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. So these are cooked in Kerrygold butter and bacon grease. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. Okay, folks. Gotta eat now. Hello everybody, Harry and I are gonna have a little snack. We're really not hungry for lunch lunch because we had that late huge breakfast of sausage and eggs this morning. So we're each gonna have, is this the last of them? I'm gonna have the blue, he's gonna have the green. This one's the chili lime, this one's the cheddar sour cream. And then we're going to have some of this, um, the rest of the Old English, and we're going to smear it on this dried beef that I opened for the um, picnic that we had last week. See how it comes? It comes all rolled in a little round roller thing. Take one out. Oops. Take one out. I wonder, you know, if you can microwave these and make chip chips out of them. Very good. Very salty. Want to taste? Mm-hmm. Mr. Cameraman? 
And then we're gonna have some Faye yogurt. I got some steak out for dinner and um, some of the um, green beans, canned green beans. Mm -hmm. Mom's gonna come over and we're gonna watch a Star Trek movie. Hey you guys, I thought I deleted a grocery haul from last week. Actually, it was like, was it last week? It was last week because I was watching it and I'm, and I was thinking, you know, didn't we do a grocery haul with that AHA water, that lime watermelon and our ice cream? So I looked, Harry goes, well, look through your trash. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. And you know what? It was in there. So I retrieved it and I'm going to add it to this in between my lunch and my dinner. Just note that it was from a few days ago. I've got makeup on and better clothes on and all that good stuff. But we ended up... Sally, girl, shh. My mommy's trying to film, baby. Just wait a minute. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. She really understands, you guys. She has got a vocabulary to be banned. She really does. Anyway, back to keto. So I'm going to put it between the snack lunchtime and dinner and show it. So that's why you guys are going to see me in different clothes and stuff. But it's where I found that applewood bacon. It's where I got my ice cream and all of that. So I'm going to share that little grocery haul. And then we're going to have dinner tonight. Mom's coming over to watch the Star Trek movie. We've been watching uh, Star Trek all day since we did not go on a ride. Since we were told now from the state of Arizona they want you in the house. They really don't want you going. They closed all the parks. They closed everything, at least in my part of Arizona that I live in right now. They're, this is the peak of the virus. And if everybody can stay home and stay calm, maybe we'll be through with this sooner than later. It's what I'm hoping for, folks. Anyway, got to eat now. Going to have some chips. And we're going to have all this good stuff. And then I'll bring you guys back for dinner. And you guys can see my grocery haul from a few days ago that I found. Hope everybody is safe, hope everybody is healthy, and I'll see everybody in the next segment. Okay everybody, we just got back from Bash's, our local store, and I wanna show you our grocery haul. They got restocked in some things, in other areas, not so much, so I got what I could. I got us a Columbus uh, dry Italian salami. I got two of this delicious thick cut of farmland bacon, because you know me. I got one, they're only letting people have one thing of beef, and this was the largest one that I could get. Um, they had Daisy sour cream, thank heavens, and they got yogurt in, so I got some two good yogurts, vanilla. Um, they had some Hickman eggs, you can only have one. I got some Baby Bell. I got Harry likes the um, spicy oh, yeah. hot pork rinds and I like the plain. And I see a lot of you guys doing this aha water. So I got, they had a sell on it. I got the blueberry pomegranate, which is in the bottom. And this one is the lime and watermelon. So that sounded really, really yummy to me. So um, I also bought my mom some dog food. They had one sack, small sack of the dog food that she gets so i'll be taking that over to her so all of this plus the big bag of dog food you guys was 100 dollars and 10 cents so it was right here you know we do the best we can do and get it while it's there i um firmly believe in that so We've got yogurt for a couple days, bacon for a couple days, lots of sour cream now. So looks like we're set for this week, totally. Um, I got some stuff earlier in the week, and this is stuff for fill-ins. And oh, 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 enlightened, because uh, who doesn't like a little enlightened? I, I, like said, I'm not taking you to the store unless you get me some ice cream. That's, he did say that, folks. So And we do use these. We reuse these. We rinse them out. And we use them to pour our bacon grease in. Well, any and kind of let grease, it, yeah. Yeah, and then we pour it, what well, we can't keep because we keep getting more and more bacon grease. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm on a bacon kick right now. So this is my favorite, chocolate peanut butter. They didn't have that hardly any left, which I guess the rest of the ice cream was wiped out. So they're probably getting another haul of that. So... I got peanut butter fudge for Harry and a chocolate peanut butter and then two chocolate peanut butter for me. 
So that'll last us a week as well, folks. So anyway, I got to put all this stuff away before it melts and I got to get back to work. So I will talk to everybody later. So I'm making here and we're going to have some of the French style green beans that I got at Bash's because we're eating everything in our cupboards and our refrigerator. And... These happen to be the French cut string beans, which I really like because they've got the um, onion, red peppers, and garlic in them. So I'm going to just put those in there because they'll heat up right away. Got my beautiful three pound porterhouse steaks. Yes, indeedy, I do. This is another one with one of those things in it. I'll have to mm -hmm. fix it. But aren't, isn't, aren't these beautiful? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let me open this up. And then I've got the rest of my last night, my um, taco meat. So I'm going to have a little side of that too. And that will go for three people. So that will work out really good. So I am going to put some Byron's butt rub on our steak. Because a little bit of butt rub makes everything better. It just smells so good. You know, it really does. These are going in my air fryer. You guys could broil them if you guys had gas, which we don't for our barbecue out back. We forgot to get gas in time for the zombie apocalypse, so we don't have any. So anyway, I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to get these started, and then while these are resting, I'll get those on and get this heated, and I'll come back and share with everybody once I start cooking everything and once it's all plated. So, see everybody in a few. So, I'm taking a little bit of bacon grease. Sorry. Taking a little bit of bacon grease and pouring it in with my string beans because every bit of bacon grease makes it taste better. So, I'm just putting in a little bit. Mmm, cooking that right in there with that. It'll taste so good. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic. Nah, that's good. That's good enough. Get that going. I ended up putting a second can in there because mom's here. Three people eating the string beans. You need two cans, I thought. So, because we're just having the green beans. I'm sorry, the sun. Sorry, folks. Sorry. The sun is right at the back. Our house face east and west, and that's the west window, so it's coming right in. It's 550, and that sun's just coming right in. Anyway, folks, I'm going to put this on and get this heated up, and when I drain it, I'll put some Kerrygold butter on it, and it'll be delicious. And I got the steak in. Steak's all in. Oh, see? See the steak? And yes, they can go in crooked. But they're all settled right in there with the Byron's butt rub and garlic salt on them. So I think we're set. And I'll bring it back when everything is ready to plate. Careful the steam, babe. So that's all ready to go. We're going to let it sit in, in its bacon sauciness. And then I got the vent on because it was it had a little bit of bacon grease on the... Um, stove and it started smoking and burning so anyway folks we got some time left on the steak and then I've got to turn it over here in a little bit so okay steaks are gonna rest so I'm gonna put some butter on our steaks Kerrygold butter because I missed you Kerrygold. I missed you very much. Mm, gotta have that Kerrygold butter. The Finlandian that I had. Finland? Finlandian? What is it? Finland? Yeah, something like that. Finland, Finlandian, Finlandia. Nothing wrong with it, but it's, it's, it's grass cow fed, but if you guys get unsalted butter, you guys would like this. Even though this is the salted, it's very creamy tasting. I still like Kerrygold butter the best. So I got my Kerrygold butter and I'll rotate them because I have them and they're in my fridge. So anyway, folks, I'm going to let these rest. I've got my string beans done 
and I think we're gonna call this dinner and I think we're gonna call it a wrap we're gonna have coffee and a piece of dark chocolate a little bit later after we've eaten our steak so I hope everybody had a great day today it was absolutely beautiful here in Arizona it was actually in the 80s today can you believe that tomorrow's Monday and I have it off I had a four-day weekend so it's kind of crazy no place to go so tomorrow I'm gonna rest we did a lot of stuff this weekend, got our den back in order and our bookshelves back in order and did some deep cleaning. So tomorrow I think we're just gonna rest, huh, Harry? Sound good? Anyway, folks, if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are doing to stay healthy and safe and sane if you guys have little ones running around underfoot. Give me some comments. Let me know what you guys are doing. Anyway, everybody, good night. I'm gonna put this Finlandia away. Doesn't that look delicious though? Oh my gosh.